when you start a project like this with a more rare airplane, it isn't uncommon to pick up other projects when they become available. If they're close enough to you and you can drive to it and pick it up, it could be very worth it. Not because you want to restore another airplane, but to get some of the parts that come with the project. A lot of people, they don't want to sell parts. They want to get rid of everything they have all at once. So if you see some things you really like that they have, you have to go get all of it and just sell or give away the stuff you don't end up wanting when you get back. So here I am in North Georgia, just outside Blairsville, picking up another project for its parts. I don't want that flying off on the highway. The metal cowling parts we had for our airplane are hard to find and even more complicated to make. Ours are just not in good shape. But Frank here, he has some really nice cowling parts and a really nice door. So I decided to drive eight hours to North Georgia to pick up this project mostly just for those parts and hoping it will also come with a few other things we may need. I borrowed a truck and a trailer, spent one night in Savannah the night before, then arrived here only two hours before sunset to load everything with Frank. After getting the fuselage secure and everything else loaded, the truck was completely full just after dark. Then I met up with another friend who lived close by to help load the wings that were kept separately in a parking lot. He gave me a place to stay that night and I woke up the next morning to find some nice frost on everything and started the drive back home where I'll pass through downtown Atlanta on the way. I had also never towed a trailer before until this trip so I figured out pretty fast how to tow one properly. The next eight hours of driving from North Georgia to Northeast Florida are absolutely nothing that you want to see. I arrived back to St. Augustine at night where Brian and Dave met me to unload. A lot of these boxes were full of small things that I didn't even have time to look at when loading. So it wasn't until then that we would really know what I picked up. The most important thing is the shape of the cowling parts and the door that is practically brand new. Those were some golden finds and for only a couple thousand dollars it was a no brainer to go get all this stuff. A lot of people have a misconception that doing a project like this costs $100,000. If you want to put a bunch of unnecessary fancy avionics that will fly the airplane for you, then sure, you can spend that. But we're keeping it historic and classy and only putting in the things that are necessary and mostly things that came with this airplane originally. So. What we're spending on this project is actually a lot less than what people spend on a lot of their trucks I see driving around town. But those trucks aren't from the 1940s and they don't fly. Dave and Brian had a lot more energy than I did at this point and I let them do most of the digging and after moving things around two different hangars we closed up shop for the night. Now it was time to organize everything and really lay it all out to see what's there, what we have, what we'll be selling. Right off the bat, I know the fuselage, which is in really good shape, will be for sale, and the wings. All right, it's been three weeks, and I'm now back at the airport. I finally made it back. I was out of the country traveling for work, making a documentary. That's a whole other video. I'll talk about that later. And the holidays got in the way. Things are crazy with work. I'm not retired. I work very, very hard to make a living, believe it or not, so I... I'm not able to make it here all the time. I'm doing the best I can. Dave got a seaplane. How freaking cool is that? So I'll do another video touring this plane, talking about the history of it. Incredible machine, even more rare than the one I'm restoring um, from the 50s here. And also in the future will be a video showcasing this hangar space we're gonna turn into a really cool like retro lounge. Now let's get started on some of the things I got and some of this stuff is for sale and um, I don't know if it still will be by the time you're watching this video, but if you're one of the first ones to see it, it may still be for sale or might be some stuff that you want, so just let me know. Here's some gear parts we have. Those can probably be restored, it looks like. They're in good enough shape. We've got window panel, an engine mount right here. 
It's an engine mount. Some wood for the fuselage. Some of that goes over the top, which we already have. So some of this stuff we have two of now. That's why we're able to get rid of some of these things. Here's a nose ball. It's been cut at the eyebrows. I don't know why some people cut the eyebrows. No idea why you do that, but there is a nose bowl. I think there's another firewall underneath that is what I see. More gear parts. Got some flaps over here that would definitely need some work. And actually we have two sets of flaps now that um, we can get rid of. Here's some of our old cowling parts. We can now get rid of some of those if anyone's interested. And then this is some paperwork that came with the plane, I believe. Nothing significant, but then I gotta go through some other stuff. Doesn't look like anything of real value in there. Fuel selector, rudder pedals, and this is pretty cool. It's always nice to see an original uh, fuel tank bobber, the aluminum bobber. We already sent some of those out to get restored, as you know, and some old instruments. I know there's more instruments that came with it. There's a couple there, another gear part. More gear parts I can see under here. These are rudder springs, interesting. And then we have all this wood for the fuselage as well, which I believe none of that we need because we already have it on our fuselage. Speaking of the fuselage, that's one of the things that is in really good shape. If you want a cruise air fuselage, this is definitely worth coming to pick up. So it even has an instrument panel that someone started and they had big plans for. A box of more stuff that I don't think there's anything of significant value in here, but if you were doing a cruise air project, you might want it. Aluminum window frame there. A lot of the things that we got of value are in the other hangar, so stay tuned. Oh, and then there's a big, that strip of wood down there long strip of wood or a bunch of stringers. I don't think they're all in perfect condition, but there's a bunch of stringers for the fuselage. I have to get with Brian to see what he wants to do with some of this stuff because not all of it is going to be worth selling. This leads me to the wings. The wings are over here. They would definitely need a lot of work, but the surfaces of the wings are very smooth. A lot of the wings that you find on this airplane are damaged or dented or warped. The surface, the actual surface of these wings we've noticed are quite smooth. It's nice to see like what's going on here a little bit with this wing and see how some of these things are installed that we haven't installed yet. But anyway, got a set of Belenka Cruiser wings sitting here. Now back in the project hangar and I actually have been out here since I picked everything up. I was building shelves. That was the one thing that I had been out here for. And so I started organizing some of this stuff and I'll show you that. I think it's important to be organized if this project is ever gonna get done. And believe me, as of lately, I question if it is. This wood down here on the floor is actually not ours. It's gonna get moved out of the way. Don't worry about it. Let's come over to this cowling part. This is what I really wanted to show. One of the pieces here. This is one of the reasons that I drove all the way to North Georgia. By some miracle, someone didn't cut it all up into a million pieces and put a bunch of holes in it. These are interesting. This might change the way that we do the rotisserie system. Right now we have it on this wood to rotate it, but uh, this system, might even be better. We found on the other fuselage, you could put that up front and that on the back. And then you can really actually spin it around instead of having to go in different sections. You can go nice and smooth, rotate it wherever you want. Here's the new door, good looking door. Our other door had a bunch of like damage here. This doesn't look good on camera necessarily, but it's actually pretty smooth and it's already all been stripped down. That's another thing too. These parts have already all been stripped down. And so that's going to save us a lot of time right there on the door alone. Here's some other cowling pieces over here just to get an idea of how many we have now. Some of these are duplicates. Some are in worse shape than others, but a lot of these pieces here on this rack were the pieces that I went and picked up and they are in very, very good shape. This, this shows the difference pretty well in this shot here compared to what I just got and then what we had. You can see I started organizing the hangar with some new shelves. Quite a few instruments here. Door handle parts, some switches, some of the stuff we already had. This is a cool find here. Fits perfectly on the cowling. 
We've already tested it out and we have two of those now. If anyone's looking for rubber grommets, we have a whole bag of them. This is a pretty neat piece to have in good shape. Ooh, look at this. Here's another trim screw assembly. Remember how hard it's been to find one of those. Well, here's the new nose bowl. Has not been hacked up. Still has the original eyelids on there. Bunch of new control knobs that came with it. And a steerable tailwheel assembly with the tire on there. Probably a mall tire. There's a lot more that I'm not really showing in these boxes. Lots of small things. Some of this stuff, I don't even know what it is, to be honest. Um, Brian will know, and he can tell me if we want to keep them or what to do with them. Some of these parts are also Cessna parts that we're going to sell. In conclusion, I'm really happy with everything. I'm really glad I went and picked up the cowling parts, the door, and the tailwheel assembly, and then there's a lot of little extra things as a bonus. So hopefully this will give us a little push and motivation and we'll get some more done soon.